Hey there folks, we're now on our next video in statistics and here I'm going to show you one example or tutorial video, you may say it like that, um, in making use of Jamovi in answering a problem in two samples t-test for dependent samples. One may call this as paired uh, t-test. So let's take a look at this example here. Um, this tutorial on the left part of the screen that you're looking is making use of um, uh, Microsoft Excel in finding the pair T test, but uh, I have a separate a separate video for that. Okay, and now we're going to make use of Jamovi. So we're making use of the same example here for set A and set B. Um, the, the example says that test the claim that there's no difference between the population means based on the sample pair data. So we'll use alpha um, to be 0 0.05, and we will set have this sets rather set a and set b so in jamovi first we need to um have our um you know um establish our variable so let's have this as set a by the way in in jamovi we in in paired sample t test imagine per row is is one respondent so since this is a paired Pair t test, uh, dependent t test. So we're we're applying the the experiment on on a pre test post test um, way. So it's not going to be a very the same with um, exactly the same with with the independent t test, wherein we have one column for all the for all the numbers, and then we're just going to have a profiling variable. Here it should be two columns for the pre test and post test, since we again one row is one respondent. So there's only one respondent and and and, and two two values from that respondent so we have a set a for the for respondent one and set b for respondent one still for representing his or her pretest and post-test so we'll have this set a here and then we'll put that as continuous and we'll also do that with set b we'll call this set b and this is continuous likewise and let's pair them up for set a the first pair is 33 and then we have 27 next is 35 and then we have 29 next is is 28 paired with 36 next is 29 paired with 34 next is 32 paired with 30 then 34 paired with 29 then 30 paired with 28 then 34 paired with sorry paired with 24 Okay, let's do that. Let's try to check that. Um, 35, 28, 29, 32, 34, 30. Okay, 27, 29, 36, 34, 30, 29. Okay, that's it. So how do we do the pair t-test using Jamovi? We click on the analysis tab. We click on the t-tests. And we choose the paired samples t-test. We we'll click on that and then we'll be directed to the, um, the inputs. What do we want to do? and it will give us the, the outputs on the right side of the screen, the right side of this Jamovi app. So the paired variables that we'll have is uh, set A and set B. There you go, so it's paired. You can see that it's one pair here. And we want students t-test. Um, hypothesis is two-tailed, um, no difference. So two-tailed, and you may want to check the descriptives. And here you go. Let me extend this. So here's our paired sample t-test and the the um, p-value result is here. So the t-statistic is 1.06. Your df is 7. Your p-value is 0 0.325. Here are the descriptives if you want. So since that's our step two, okay? I remember step one to be est establishing the hypothesis. So the hypothesis is simply as um, there is no difference and there is a sig significant difference. Um, step two is this, a p-value is 0 0.325. Um, and then Step three will be comparing your p-value to your alpha level, which is um, pretty much higher than your alpha level. Hence, you do not reject the null hypothesis. And step four will be your your conclusion. So step four will tell you that since we did not reject the null hypothesis, therefore there is no significant difference between the population means based on the pair data. So let's try to scroll down, and you can see here that we do have the same answer if we're going to make use of the MS Excel. Okay, here. So here's our p-value, 0.325 over here. And um, you can see here the p-value, which is also 3.25.
So therefore, um, we do not reject the null hypothesis or we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Therefore, there's no significant difference between the two. So that's how you do it. Um, you can just replay and rewatch this video and how we do that again on Jamovi. Again, follow the steps and then you'll pretty much get it from there. So that's it. Um, thank you very much and hope you like and subscribe.